So just to get the basics right. So what is climate change? I don't think there's a definition. But broadly, the Earth's climate, right, or long-term weather trend have been changing over the last, you know, three, four, five decades, right? Uh, so which means that our temperature ranges are very different from what they used to be. Some things like the rainfall patterns have changed, right? Wind movements have changed. And all of this together is what we call climate change, to put it very simply. Uh, it is also happening at a rate which is much faster than what we have seen before and therefore is probably much faster than what humans and other living beings will be able to adjust to. Okay, so going a little deeper, why should we care? Right? Why does this matter? Why should it matter to us? So we should care or, uh, you know, it maybe should matter to us because uh, it's going to affect all of us, uh, whether we like it or not in more ways than we can imagine, right? Uh, so, to very simply, the ways in which it will affect us is one that you're feeling, uh, the temperatures are going up, right? So, the Earth is becoming warmer. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, it's becoming so hot. So, NASA put it as the Earth is having a fever. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was a great way to put it, right? That's really how hot it's feeling. Uh, all our cities, right, are seeing, you know, heat waves. Uh, so, that's one. Uh, you're seeing a lot of extreme weather events. And probably what something, you know, uh, maybe we all experienced some time, right, in the last couple of years. Uh, you know, fun statistic, but uh, last year, out of the 365 days in the year, India experienced some extreme weather event on at least 300 of those days. Oh, wow. Uh, so that's the second thing, right? All of us are probably going to, you know, experience a landslide or a heat wave or a cyclone or, you know, floods or something, right? Wherever we are, there is some... Wherever we are, right? Extreme weather event, we may be... Yeah, wherever we are. Uh, if you're in the city, it's happening. Like, you know, Mumbai has floods. Delhi had floods last year. Bangalore had floods last year, right? Uh, it's happening in the hills. It's happening in the... It's just happening everywhere, right? Uh, then it's going to affect our food systems. Because a lot of our food systems are under stress because, uh, you know, we are going to face water scarcity because of changes in weather patterns. Some, we may not be able to grow some crops, you know, where they were currently growing. And so it is going to put stress on our food systems and it may affect the food that we eat, right? right? Uh, it is going to, uh, you know, maybe affect our ability to, you know, be outdoors, right? So in an extreme heat wave, you may not be able to, you know, step out, right? Uh, by the way, you know, and this maybe not too far in the future, uh, you might just have to do remote work on certain days of heat waves because, you know, it's just not feasible to really go out. It, yeah. And by the way, that's for people who have the luxury of saying they can do remote work, right? That's not for everyone. So there are people who are, say, manual laborers working in the sun. They don't have remote work. They're still probably going to work and it's, it could be fatal for them, mm. right? So I think these are just some of the ways in which, you know, maybe... It will affect all of us. Yeah.